yo what's going on guys and today we're talking about the charlotte hornets are kind of not narrowing down but they're done the preliminary round of interviews with candidates that include jordan ott and former vanderbilt and raptors g league head coach g league coach of the year jerry stackhouse who i actually think is a better nba coach than he is college there was also Denver's David Altman that they already interviewed, Boston's Charles Lee, who I think is the front runner and probably going to get the job because the whole execs, the whole front office are former Hawks front office guys, and they were brought over by the new team owners, which were farmer, former Hawks minority owners. There's also Jordy Fernandez, who's a couple academic papers away from being a, a PhD doctor, Jay Laranega, who's Jim Laranega's son, Wonderkin Kevin Young, and Lindsay Harding are some of the people that they've interviewed, as well as Rockets Royal Ivy. Royal Ivy was a former NBA player, if I remember correctly. Now, as we look at this, I think this was a, I think, kind of cool to see all the options. Because for me, the way I look at it, I, I think, it, again, I'm going to continue to beat that drum that I think Charles Lee is the front runner. But if there wasn't a guy like Charles Lee, like Jordan Ott. If you guys don't know who Jordan Ott is, we'll go through. We've talked about David Alden. He's the son of, I think, what? David Alden's the son of, what's his name? The famous Alden coach. But but David Alden's a guy that I definitely like, like the idea of him coming over here and being a part of. He's been with the nuggets for a while he's a, a long time you know nba assistant and his father is a historically famous coach while lindsey harden won g league of the year first woman to do that g league coach of the year kevin young and jordy fernandez are probably the high and charles lee are the three highest regarded young coaching candidates like basically the best young not like first time head coach options i think jerry stackhouse out of all the people they've added i think jerry stackhouse is probably the one that has the most sway like jordan ott spent his second season with the with the the lakers this past year and i i don't have much about him he was with the the nets before that so he's a guy that jeff peterson's worked with before as well as Ryan Grizzle, two Hawks assistants who come from the Nets. Now, I think J Jerry Stackhouse, who recently coached Vanderbilt for five seasons, went and got fired after a 9-23 season. They bought him out $15 million. He went 70-92 and over the few years. And Jerry Stackhouse said it was difficult to recruit and retain players due to Vanderbilt's struggles to counter NIL opportunities, as well as it being like, you know, a prestigious institution academic wise. He brings NBA experience, G League experience, coached as an assistant coach with the Raptors and with the Grizzlies. So I think he's a he's a good option for, for both of those guys. While Royal Ivy is, I believe, what he played a handful of years in the NBA. So for me, I think when you look at the options, you want a guy who's going to be able to help develop talent while having a, and he, you know, Roy Ivy was actually drafted by the Atlanta Hawks and he worked with Jeff Peterson as a Brooklyn Nets head coach. So that's a connection there. So I think Jerry Stackhouse, Royal Ivy, Jordan Ott are legitimate candidates. Again, I, if I had to put my money on it, and if I was a betting man, Charles Lee's still the front runner to me.